In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe is the most consistent blitz post-patch. And also, I think the best overall defense. I've thought this since the beginning of the year. There's really only one thing that is truly keeping this from being the best defense in the game. I'm going to talk about it in this video a little bit. And uh, I'm showing you kind of a way around it. Big Nickel over G is extremely versatile, extremely adaptable. One of the things that's really good about this defense is it has all of the match coverages. It also has, in my opinion, the best pressure post-patch as well as um, really powerful, um, just a really powerful alignment as well. Um, now, the one issue with this is against sets like trip side in or flip bunch, whenever it requires the formation to flip, there is still an issue, a bug in the game. It's been in the game for three patches that basically causes your safeties to flip. Uh, hopefully EA will patch this. They're really, if the assignment flipped, it would be one thing, but the fact that the assignment doesn't flip is really the problem. I'm going to talk about why that's this year, this year's game. If you want to get my full Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook, um, I think this is probably going to be the defense that I'm going to be running uh, going forward. I just think it's the most versatile defense. Everything that I've, I've tested a lot of defenses in this game. I've got ebooks on a lot of other ones on our Patreon as well. Um, but Big Nickel Over G to me continues to, I just keep coming back to this defense. Now, if you want to get my full uh, ebooks, all my ebooks, just join the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And if you want to sign up, the link is in the description. So I want to show you how it's supposed to work, and then we're going to show you the problem. So if I come out in bunch, that's not going to require the formation to auto flip. So let's say I come out in a play like pinch blitz, and I want to send six. I'm just going to show blitz, and what you're going to see here is, and I can pinch my line and crash out. I get a really good alignment on both sides, and basically, if they block their running back, I'm going to be able to still get really good pressure off of the side. This is what makes this defense so good, Okay. Now, I can obviously do some other things as well to get pressure. For example, um, if I wanted to, I could run this kind of similarly, if you will, to an Overstorm Brave. The primary difference being that I'm going to still use the back. But you'll see here, we're going to still get able to get pressure. So this is what makes it such a good defense, okay? Um, but I want to show you kind of what makes it a bad defense and, um, and why you basically can't run pinch blitz unless they're coming out in bunch to the right or unless their their strong side is to your strong side or if you turn auto flip off so when i run pinch blitz against trips watch what happens you're gonna see that the safeties flip but their assignment stays the same so if i'm smart i'm gonna just quick hike a streak to this guy and a lot of times it's gonna be a touchdown okay this is a massive problem. Now, it would not be a problem if they actually stick with the same assignment, which might be what they're going for. Um, but because they don't, it is a is a massive issue. Okay, so the only way to run this really, um, and it really not even it really is not even going to work the best like this. But basically, you would just like not be able to do anything from a show blitz or press perspective. You would have to basically. Um, you know, effectively, what you would really want to do, in my opinion, is you would want to move this guy kind of down in here, and then you would stand right here with the user. And the problem is that's significant amount of work for not the best pressure against trips. Okay, so how do we fix this problem? Because we do need auto flip. We do need to auto flip with the formation, in my opinion. Um, if you don't want to auto flip, you'll see that there's still some bugs. So I'm going to turn auto flip off. If I come out and pinch blitz, you're going to notice something. See how I'm mismatched now? So I'm still mismatched, right? I I now I'm still out leveraged. My safety is 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 you know all the way across the field. So it's still not very it's not perfect by any means. Um, really, what you would probably want to do is man this guy up on him, and then you would want to use her this safety over the middle, and then you'll see here if I block a running back we're going to get pressure off the opposite side. So the best fix that I'm aware of for this is really essentially just to like run it with auto flip on. And if you call the right couple of plays, this is going to be really good. So um, what you want to do is you want to come out in, if you want to blitz out of man coverage, um, you either want to come out in cover two man, cover one hole or WS blitz one. WS blitz one is my preferred uh, defense. 
So we're coming out in this play, and we're just going to show blitz. You're going to see they're going to flip, and now we have some versatility. So what we can do is if we want to press up on this guy, we can. We can manually press these guys. Um, but really what we're going to want to do here is we're going to still want to use her this guy. Uh, we want to take advantage of having that safety right there. And now we're in a pretty good spot. So we can blitz this safety on the right. Okay. And then from there, if we want to send the left side, then we would want to take that safety on the other side and man him up on circle uh, or on that slot and then blitz that slot corner that's pressed up over the top of him. So you see this is what the play looks like. Now this is a lot better. And if the running back just shoots to the flat, I can easily get out here now and help. Uh, with the coverage. So that's a way that you can do this out of WS Blitz. Now another thing that I want to really quickly point out that I think I'm very fond of uh, this year is a basic little concept that I, do, I was doing last year, but this is also really good this year. You're going to come out in a basic zone play. So like cover two, for example. You just come out and cover two, whatever, a basic zone play. And then you audible into the play that you want to run so you audible into this ws blitz one and now you notice if you take a look here now we're in a pretty good spot right so here there's really nothing wrong with this defense honestly um you know we could just simply run it like this and if we were worried about you know them having uh pass protection then what we could easily do is blitz that linebacker and then put that safety that's in and put him in the coverage. So now we're sitting six still, and if they block a running back, we should still get pretty good pressure either up the A gap or off of the other side. So this is just something that I kind of have started to do, and you could do this out of several different looks, like strong safety blitz one. Um, as you see, these guys are misaligning, so you've got to fix it, right? That's the biggest thing. But if you can be quick on your adjustments, you know, I can be in a pretty good, pretty good defense pretty quickly. Um, something like this is actually really decent. And you'll see here, pressure is going to scream, and then uh, we're going to lurk in coverage. Okay, so that's how you would fix that. Now, uh, if you notice, um, if I'm in cover, let's say I'm in cover two. When I show blitz, I want everything to look the same, ideally. So if I go to WS Blitz one, and I just simply show blitz you see here by and large it looks fairly similar it's not a hundred it's not a hundred percent the same but it's fairly similar so now i'm not giving a, a, a visual tell to my opponent if i'm in man or zone either so we can again send this corner um we don't even have to send this we can play max coverage man one of the best things about features about this formation is the fact that these safeties get really good hot routes. You can put them in outside thirds. So we could do a defense basically like this, and then now we have this slot corner that we can also, if you take a look at his adjustments, we can put him, and I talked about this yesterday, we can put him in an outside third. So now we have a really, really good coverage from the same basic look, very safe man-to-man -man coverage that's going to force them to have to check the ball you know, underneath. They're not going to be able to throw corner routes. Typically, they're not going to be able to throw outside. And then as you'll see here, we're going to be pretty stout across the board and you get really good sheds out of big nickel. So those are some reasons as to why I really like this defense. Um, you're not going to have to fix quote unquote your defense every single time, um, especially if they're coming out and they're just running their bunch to the left or to the right. Um, if they're running their bunch to the right, this is perfect alignment. This is perfect alignment, right? This is exactly what we want. And so now not only do we have an alignment advantage, but we also have a coverage advantage where we could do a defense like this really easily and our max pressure look looks identical to our max coverage look. It's always been one of the main features that I love about this defense is that it's really meant and designed to be ran on baseline. Uh, because it gives you really, really, really good alignment on the outside. So, like, let's say you want to go into a cover two. You can go into this cover two here, and, you know, you could run, basically, you could run it like this. So now, um, the beauty or the benefit and why you would want to do this is because backed off cloud flats are significantly better than pressed cloud flats. So now, you know, I have backed off cloud flats that are going to be able to handle a lot of stuff. And then they're also not going to be able to throw over the top of me because of the outside thirds. So 
you can do a lot with this formation. Um, not not even to mention to get in all the match stuff. If you want to learn everything about this defense, I would really recommend to get in the Patreon and kind of learn the defensive ebook on it, as well as the match coverage piece to this as well. Uh, but this defense right here is extremely versatile from a pressure perspective post patch, and hopefully they'll fix this alignment bug. Uh, this was not in the game last year. Um, and hopefully they will, like, if they're going to flip the safeties, then at least do us the courtesy of flipping their actual assignments uh, as well. But if they don't, there are workarounds. We explain a little bit more in detail in the ebook the couple different options that you can have to work around these things. But where I'm sitting right now, I still, th I really believe this defense is very powerful because of what it can do from a four to three down lineman rush perspective, but also what it can do from a coverage perspective, and lastly, what it can do from a guaranteeing your pressure at your opponent perspective. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full Big Nickel over the defensive ebook, make sure to join our Patreon. Our Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates to those ebooks. If you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.